you do nothing? I'm just gonna keep my distance. That's it? Eric tried to rape you. I just wanna forget about it. He should be punished, Nina. It's preaching to the choir, Chloe. Then why don't you do something? Because I don't want to, okay? You just feel so terrible. I don't want to feel worse. Can I talk to you? Alone? It's gonna be okay. Talk to you later, all right? I only did what I thought was right. You know you would have done the same thing, Chloe. No, I would have talked to you, not your mother. Well, you shut me out. You know what? Don't blame me for your mistakes. I'm not just going to sit back and watch you hurt yourself. Come on, I'm doing this because I care for you. You know what? I am not your problem to solve. Just leave me alone. Believe me, it is a problem, Chloe. suggesting a program of therapy and behavior modification. Behavior modification? What does that have to do with me? You've developed some very dangerous habits. Nothing I can't stop on my own. Chloe, let's at least hear what the doctor is suggesting. I haven't even been doing it that long. I'm listening. In addition to weekly counseling, you need to eat at least 2,000 calories a day, refrain from purging, and develop a routine of moderate exercise. No problem. I can do that. That's fine. I hope you can. But as a fallback, I'm recommending that you sign a contract with your mother. What kind of contract? If Chloe can't moderate her behavior on her own, you'll have her admitted to an eating disorder unit. What? Isn't that a bit drastic? This is a serious problem, Mrs. Walker. As you've pointed out, you're in the beginning stages. But this is a progressive disease. Which I'm dealing with. I know this is difficult, and what I'm suggesting seems severe. But left untreated, many bulimics don't get well. They die. guys are falling in love with you. Uh -huh. Good genes and charisma. It comes totally naturally. But what about someone like me? I mean, isn't there something I can do <laughs> to be more like you? See, plastic surgeon? Joke. But seriously, Martha, if you're going to get in the game, you need the fundamentals. I'm a very quick learner. Buy some fashion magazines, preferably from this decade, and commit them to memory.
coffee, Jones, as scheduled. Gives us 10 minutes, 15 if he works for Mrs. Stank. Come on, let's Remember go. Remember we have to? Oh, what kind of attitude is that? Well, since we're talking minimum one week detention, we owe it to ourselves to ask, what's in it for us? Yeah. Hey, you guys are invited to the wedding. Look, great love demands great gestures, great sacrifices. Now your great love gets you his junk board on your head. Yeah. Not anymore. This time, I take tips from the master. Whatever works for Zach will work for me. With a yeah. hot flip. Now, the problem that I have is I got to actually lose every time I ask around. I know I'm about to lose. So cute. But I can't because I want her all the time. Yeah. Some take years, but she's already in her prime. In the, the love that I have is not really run so deep. Every time that I see her, my heart doesn't leave. So peep into the mind and do some thoughts of excitement like a fine type of wine that is striving to ferment. Like a lovesick puppy, I still follow, forgetting sorrow and looking forward to tomorrow. So tomorrow she's always tomorrow. giving me a funky mixed illusion. The image in my brain has become and try my conclusion. Soft and white like the grateful dove. Nothing will penetrate my everlasting love. Love, 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 love. Now the problem that I have is I got to actually lose every time I ask around. I know I'm about to lose. So cute. But I can't cause I want her all the time. Yeah. Some take years but she's already in her prime. In the, the love that I have is not really run so deep. Every time that I see her my heart doesn't leap. So peep into the mind and do some thoughts of excitement like a fine type of wine that is striving to ferment. Like a lovesick puppy I still follow. Forgetting sorrow and looking forward to tomorrow. So tomorrow she's always tomorrow. giving me a funky mixed illusion. The image in my brain has been to try my conclusion. Soft and white like the graceful duck. I'm gonna have to deep six this guy, Ashley. No, duh. I don't know. I wish someone would do something like that for me. Let me guess. Detention for a week. Try a month. A month? Okay, well, let's say you guys are in the wedding. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. What's wrong? Nothing. I just, I'm just jumpy. I didn't get enough sleep last night. Please. What? Who? Eric. I thought you were crazy about the guy. I was until I found out what he is. What happened? Nothing. Nina. I said nothing. Hear the rumor? What rumor? There's a new school for us in the valley. They're transferring back. No lie? End of the semester, the nightmare's over. It'll be like it was. You know, just because you live on this side of the hill doesn't mean you really belong here. So you in Goldilocks this morning. Looks like she wouldn't lose sleep over you transferring. She needs space, that's it. Starting real soon, that's just what she's gonna get. I've been thinking. I need a challenge. You help me? Why not? My takeover, I mean makeover skills, are a little rusty, but if I'm going to put myself out like this, you've got to do exactly what I tell you to. Anything. I'd move to a swamp if I could be like you. That won't be necessary. But if I got the perfect guy for you, Hey, Chloe. What the hell are you doing? Nothing. Look, just don't tell Mama, right? Didn't you go to the doctor with her this morning? Have I ever told her about your drinking? Look, I have all this under control, so just don't worry about it. Yeah. I see that. Come on, Josh. We've always kept each other's secrets, right? I can't believe this. I am the one with the problems. You are supposed to be the perfect one. No, Josh. Nobody's perfect, all right? And I'm so sick of being punished for being like everybody else. Just, just don't tell her, all right? Chloe. Josh, she's going to put me in a hospital. Don't tell her.
Nina? What are you doing here? Meeting Bree? Of course. You want to talk about it? my clothes off. And he tried to rape you. It was so stupid. I mean, I don't know what I was thinking going into the lifeguard station with him. Nina, you've got to report this. No way. Because um, then everyone's going to be talking about it and it's going to end up being his word against mine. Nothing really happened anyway. If nothing really happened, then... Why are you standing here crying? Hi, guys. Thought the two of us had a date. Didn't know it was a threesome. I'm sorry. It's my fault. Not everything is your fault, Nina. Whatever. I'll just leave. Not until we get this settled. You know what? Why don't I make this easy on everyone? I'll leave. I'll call you later? Don't bother. And if anyone asks, I broke up with you, not the other way around. also like threatening, but begged you not to tell anyone if she was still doing it, especially her mother. Chloe has an eating disorder? How did you know? I'm very perceptive. Besides, Chloe's always been too good to be true. Please, don't tell anyone. Chloe will never forgive me, okay? What kind of gossip do you think I am, Josh? Well, what do I do? Do I keep it a secret and, and hopefully she'll pull herself together? Or do I tell Mom and get her sent to rehab? Total non-question. You have to tell your mother. You'd never forgive yourself if Chloe had a heart attack or something, which can happen at any moment. In fact, you better go now. And some people say you're so insensitive. As if. <laughs> Julie, I have to tell you something, but you gotta promise you won't tell anybody. I just, I just feel so bad about screwing things up with you and Bree, you know? Like, if you want to call her or make up with her, that's totally fine with me. So, don't worry about it, okay? But you guys were so happy together. No. <laughs> Let's go. What? Oh, come on. You've got as much of a right to be here as he does. No, I just don't feel comfortable around him. Well, then just forget it. Come on. Someone ought to warn Lauren, huh? Up there. <laughs> you don't know what you're getting into with this guy. He tried to rape me. Look, I'm sorry if I came on too strong, but you gave me some major mixed signals. I said no. That's not a mixed signal. What planet is she from? Stay out of my life. Hey, 
back off. I don't know what she told you, but she begged me for it. And then she snapped when I wouldn't give it to her. Eddie, can we just get out of here now? You come near her again, I'll kill you. You and what army? Puzzle 4, during the weekdays on Action 10 News, straight from the heart. Mom, come on, don't make me do you this. broke our agreement, and I'm scared. If you need help, and you can get it here. It was just one slip. This really isn't such a terrible place. Chloe, it'll be okay. You know what, don't even try, Josh. I never would have turned I'm you in. I'm doing this because I love you, and I don't know what else to do. You made the right choice. Can I go with her? Uh, we prefer to get them settled. You can come first thing tomorrow. I'll give you a minute of lunch. This is your roommate, Amanda Golden. Group's in half an hour. Glad to meet you. It's your side. So, is this your first time? You mean it's not yours? Nope. Third tour of duty. I'm becoming a regular veteran. But this time, I think I'm finally getting with the program. Why'd they let you go if you weren't cured? Because I'm a good faker. I always have been. I give people what they want. The perfect daughter, the perfect student. You know the drill. Yeah. <laughs> so I really thought about what you said the other day, and I realized that you were right, you know? As long as I was pretending it didn't happen, it was like I was running away from Eric. And now that I've reported it to the police, I feel great. I mean, I'm back in control of my life. It's great, Nina. Man, that took a lot of courage. So what are they going to do? Investigate. I can't wait to tell Chloe. Have you seen her? No. <laughs> Chloe, she's in rehab. What? Why? You didn't know? And I thought you guys were best friends. I'm so disillusioned. Will somebody please tell me what's going on here? Bulimia, the old scarf and barf, chew and spew. No way. Obviously, you two weren't as close as you thought. I mean, I knew but I'm one of the world's more sensitive and perceptive people. I'm not eating this. This is totally disgusting. Roasted chicken's an acquired taste. I have to go to the bathroom. You and everybody else. I'm uh, going to the bathroom. All right. Excuse me, I need a little privacy. Sorry, not in the first 30 days. You're kidding me. Nope. Oh, so go on, you so I, I do. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Excuse me, do you have plans for tomorrow night? <laughs> Money I can't change. What you got in mind? Dinner at Shea Michelle. Mucho dinero. <laughs> Sounds great. Oh, major dollars, man. Any chance we can go Dutch? I'll alert your date to the possibility. Wait, you're not my date? No, Flipper, you're still among the living on Earth. I will never be your date, but I will allow you to double date with me and Josh. It's a trap, man. Yeah, but you'll be the main course. <sighs> Sorry, Ash, I don't do blind dates. Look at it this way. It's the only chance you will ever have to spend the whole night at my table inhaling my perfume. <sighs> And if you pay close attention, you'll see how upright mammals eat. What's in it for me? I get relief from you. You get the second most beautiful girl in the school. She being... It's a surprise. No. 
No, no man, no, don't, don't do, do it. No. No, no. I didn't care. It's a date. So? So what? So have you decided yet about transferring? I told you, Case, I live here. No doubts then? Sure. Some. Like? Like, I guess I'll miss hanging out with the gang. Anything else? I miss you. How? Walking, talking. No one you're around? How about this? A case. Uh, Chloe doesn't have to know. It's not the point. She doesn't want you. She's mad at me, that's all. She has every right to be. She screwed up. Why do you always defend her? I love her. I guess that answers my question about your transferring. Does. Mm, the pigtails and the glasses have got to go. But I can't see, and I'm a Brillo head. My hair is totally unmanageable. Well, it hasn't met me yet. You know, Nina tried to fix me up, and I totally choked. Nina can't fix herself up. See, my problem's more than skin deep. All guys want to do with me is power study. I'm not hot, you know? Sexy? Sexy may be a bit too ambitious, but copy everything I do and say, and he will be your love slave by the time the check arrives. Be sure to order the most expensive thing on the menu, and don't bring a purse. I think it was that big of a deal, and I just, I thought for sure I was gonna stop. But I could have helped you. <laughs> I don't want to. What can I do? Well, first of all, I have absolutely no privacy. I mean, I can't even go to the bathroom here by myself. Yeesh. I feel so bad for you. Yeah, well, thanks to Ashley spreading the word. Everyone at school who treat me like some kind of freak. Yeah, I've been there. I've done that. Good news is, it passes. Yeah, it'll be over really soon. Things will be how they used to be. Hey, what about you? I mean, did you ever tell anyone about Eric? Uh, did she? She filed a police report. Guy's toast. Nina? I mean, I'm sure it was really hard to do, but you totally did the right thing. Yeah, not nearly as hard as finding out they won't press charges. What? They can't do that. Yeah, they can, and they are. So this slime ball is gonna get away with attempted rape? DA says I don't have a winnable case. Nina, that totally sucks. For a minute. Sorry, she doesn't want to see you. She doesn't understand. She said that you put her here. Who put herself here? Not me, not her mother, not her brother. Help me get in. You can't ignore me forever, Chloe. Please leave. You got it. You know, I don't want to see you, Zach. No, I said get out. Laxatives? Just leave me alone, okay? Cool, you're freaking me out. I'm not perfect. Deal with it. I don't want you to be perfect. I want you to get better. Well, what are you waiting for? You already turned me in once. Damn it, this is not my fault. Well, that's what it feels like to me. I don't want to get you in trouble, Chloe. That's not why I'm here. Thanks. I never knew I could feel so far apart from her.
you do exactly as I do. Are you ready to order? Um, I'll have the shrimp cocktail appetizer, please. I'm not very hungry tonight. Are you, Martha? I'm starving. I think I'm gonna have the steak and lobster, a side of steamed spinach and raspberry flambe for dessert. Me too. Make it three. At least you two don't have an eating disorder. But let's not talk about it, okay? It's not your fault, Josh. It's definitely not your fault, Josh. I don't know. It's just so weird, Chloe, not being at home. Last night, Mom set the table for three and then got choked up. You did the right thing. Don't second-guess yourself for a minute. Absolutely. You did the right thing. Don't second-guess yourself. Feel free to do something original here. Here goes. I know what you need. And what would that be? Something to take your mind off your troubles. Dancing always works for me. Anything physical, actually. When the body gets busy, the mind goes on cruise control. Coach <laughs> says it's endorphins. Want to give it a try? Dance with me? You mind? Yeah. Thanks. Twenty-seven fifty for surf and turf. That's got to include tip, right? Hell. I'm in hell. That's what you get for doing someone a favor. I've never seen Chloe so depressed. It's like she's a whole different person. Hmm. Yeah. I can't believe she and Zach broke up. I mean, after all they've been through. You know, a week ago, I was feeling really sorry for myself. So it felt like everybody had a life except me, you know? Like Chloe had Zach and... Josh had Ashley. And you had a break. And all I wanted was Eric. Yeah, well, be careful what you wish for. You know what? I kind of wish that you would break up with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry if it's my fault. Mm. No, we didn't have a lot in common. Um, feels really good here with you. Safe. each other for months now and the timing's right and we're both single and I'm so screwed up right now I feel like I'm losing my mind not Nina come on I mean it's not you it's Eric who's screwed up I mean, this, this whole mess is his fault for what you did for me. I never dreamed I could be this happy. How can I ever repay you? I'll be sure to get back to you on that one. <laughs> I could give you some advice, just like you gave me. I'm so sure. I like those shoes. They're not the most flattering when your ankles are on the thick side. There's a pair in Neiman's that would look ten times better. Oh, you've created a monster. And the three of you sitting there drinking milk? Don't you read cartons? 
There's three grams of fat, even in 2%. Very funny, Martha, but you lose. No more advice from me. And without me behind you pulling your strings, you're gonna be the same old-fashioned victim by the end of the week. Wanna bet? Yeah. Hey. Josh, I'm getting a surfboard for my brother. Could you help me figure out which one to get? Josh, I thought we were going rollerblading. Well, maybe I can do both. You said it was always good to help a friend, right? How big is your brother? Mm. Martha's an only child, you know. Oh, God, could there be anything worse than losing to Martha Lewis? Afternoon, beautiful. <laughs> Don't say another word, okay? <laughs> Rumor has it I'm being shipped back to the valley. And some people say there is no God. <laughs> Never know what you got since you've lost it. These shallow guys like Josh can be swayed by a fate. But a guy like me will love you forever. Is that worth anything? Yeah. Three grams of fat. You've lost two pounds, Chloe. Bummer. You have never been fat in your life. What is it that you're afraid of? It's the one thing in my life I have control of. But you don't. It's controlling you. Binging and purging, smuggling in laxatives and diet. I didn't do that. Okay, I did it, but I'm not going to do it again. You are denying the extent of your problem. This is not something that's just going to go away by itself. What do you want me to say? I'll try harder? Well, I wish that were good enough. But at this point, I'm going to have to suspend some of your privileges. Great. Till you gain back those two pounds. No more phone calls and no more visitors. This place isn't a hospital, it's a prison. You know, Chloe, you decide what it is. Just like you decide what it is you put in your body. But our job is just you know, to I lost try to help you save pounds. your life. And the food here isn't exactly mouth-watering. If you are determined to sabotage yourself, you'll probably succeed. I'm scared for you, Chloe. And you should be, too. Isn't it? <laughs> Can't do it, though. <laughs> too bad about the GA, Nina. Drop dead. My parents are thinking about suing for harassment. Teddy, just let it go. What happened to taking control of your life? Huh? To not pretending that this didn't happen? What happened is it just got me nowhere, okay? It just kept this whole horrible thing alive. Just because he didn't get charged doesn't mean he's innocent. I mean, we can't let him forget that. I just don't want to think about him anymore. Nina, he still doesn't get it. Point is, he never will. You can't drop this. I can, actually. Can you? Hey. What's the matter? <laughs> it's my birthday. Sixteen. Are your parents coming? I was supposed to have a party at home. I sent out invitations and everything. But, you know, my parents had to cancel. Sorry. <laughs> they said I had mono. You're so ashamed of me. That's okay, though, you know? Then you'll just have a sweet 17 party, right? You know, the first time I came here, my boyfriend came to visit every day. Second time, he came every couple days. Now he's going out with Heather Evans. <laughs> Talking about thunder thighs. You know, you'd think I would get the message. If he doesn't understand what you're going through, then he's just not the guy for you. Amanda, are you okay? Um, Amanda? I gotta sit down. Are you okay? Whoa, Amanda, what's going on? Amanda? Nurse! Somebody help me! Nurse! Amanda, are you okay? We were just
favor? You can try. Okay, Teddy's been really obsessed with Eric lately, and I'm afraid that he might do something crazy. You heard about what happened? Lena, I'm sorry. Well, you know Teddy. He always takes it too far. He said he was busy after school. I'm afraid that he went looking for Eric. Could you make sure that things are kind of under control? Consider it done. Things didn't go so well with me and Chloe. Oh, you just have to give her some time. You going by there after school? Mm-hmm. You tell her I'm thinking about her? Sure. weakened her muscles, including her heart. Do you think I could see her? She's sleeping. Is she going to be okay? Yes. This time. Just taking the first step. You're just jealous. I got for the one night. You got all year. You tried to rape her. Hell, she didn't seem to think so. I'm not finished with you. Yes, you are. Get out, Mary. He started it. Teddy. Got third rock. What do you have at five straight from the heart? We shouldn't have left them there. We reported it anonymously. We gotta go back and tell them what happened. Yeah, but police are never gonna believe us. I mean, you've got a record, and, and I threatened the No one's to blame here. I burned down my own house. This time they'll put me away. Come on, Teddy, listen to me. You didn't do anything wrong. Eric was all over you. I jumped in, he fell, that's it. What if they start asking for details? Like, you know, did he trip, or, or was he pushed? I mean, you want to go in there, but are you willing to, to tell the truth? I mean, we are definitely a part of this. It was an accident. I, I know that, and you know that, but they're not gonna believe us. Besides, coming forward is not going to change the bit. Okay, then we can't tell anyone. Nobody. Nina's going to catch on. If we don't tell the cops, we can't tell anyone else. I don't know if I can do this, Zach. I have no choice, Teddy. Is Zach going to be all right? Okay, all I heard was the paramedic saying that he hadn't regained consciousness. I don't want to lay this really big trip on you, but I can't find Teddy anywhere and I'm worried. Wait, you think Teddy has something to do with this? Well, he hates Eric for what he did. Well, you're probably just overreacting. I hope so, but see, I sent Zach to go look for Teddy, and now I can't find him either. Zach's involved in this, too? All I know is he and Teddy are MIA. Did you try his trailer? And his parents' house? I'm telling you, they're gone. Man, if Zach's in trouble, I'll never be able to forgive myself. You haven't lost him. I don't know. I mean, I can't believe how mean I've been to him. He's still in love with you. I've got to go to him. You have to take me. I can't take you out of here. Please, Nina. I don't even know where he is. I'd do it for you. <sighs> okay. Get in your car, and I'll find a way to meet you in the back parking lot in five minutes. Okay. What do you mean she's disappeared? It's not uncommon, although I am surprised. I thought she was making progress. Well, do you have people out looking for her? Do you have any idea where she's gone? Well, she's probably just headed home. Probably? 
That's not good enough. Mrs. Walker, I'm terribly sorry about this, but I... Where have you been? I looked everywhere for you. I went out for a drive. What happened to your face? Nothing. Oh, you and Eric got in a fight, didn't you? I haven't even seen him. Oh, like you don't know what happened today. I don't. Look. Look, what are you talking about? They found him unconscious at the bleachers. The paramedics took him to the hospital. Is he okay? Well, they don't know yet. Teddy, it's me. Tell me the truth. Look, I told you, I haven't even seen him since sixth period, okay? Just trust me on this, Nina. Yeah, well, I want to. But... Nina, uh... Maybe later, okay? Maybe we can talk later about this. I just, uh... Walker, Chloe's run away from the hospital. If you see her or hear from her, please have her call me immediately. If I know Chloe, she'll run straight to Zach. Let's go. Chloe, how, how'd you get in? Bathroom window. You know, you should keep that thing locked. I'm sorry. Sorry about everything. I was so wrong. What are you doing out of the hospital? Did they discharge you? No. I just really had to see you. Nina told me what happened and she dropped me off. What did Nina tell you? About you and Eric. What does Nina think happened? I mean, I, I heard he had an accident, but I, I had everything to do with it. Oh, God, the way she was talking, I thought you were in trouble. I'm not. But you're gonna be in a lot of trouble if I don't get you back to the hospital. Ooh, I don't want to go back. <sighs> Chloe. Can we just stay here together for a few hours? And then go back? Hello? He's not dead. Are you sure? Yeah, he's in a coma, and that's the good news. The bad news is that the police were just here. Uh, someone saw us. What'd you tell them? Well, I told them that we got into an argument. You know, Eric slipped and fell, but I don't think that they believe me. I'm sorry, Zach. I, I really tried. I'm sure you did. They're on their way to your place. Thanks for calling me. They're gonna figure it out, Zach. And, uh, I mean, if they don't, Eric's gonna tell them the first chance he gets. What's going on? I was fighting with Eric when he fell. I didn't mean for it to happen, but he, he was all over Teddy. And now the police are on their way here. I know I should have stayed when it happened. Now, there's no way they're gonna believe me. You don't know that. Yeah, I do. Come on. Wait, where? I'm taking you back to the hospital, and then I'm taking off. You're running away? That's like admission of guilt. Story of my life. Guilty until proven innocent. Then I'm going with you. Chloe, I can't drag you into this. I love you. And that's all that matters to me. about this? No. Neither am I. Yeah. 
Now the problem that I have is I got to actually lose every time I ask around. I know I'm about to lose. So do. But I can't cause I want her all the time. Yeah. Some take years, but she's already in her prime. In the, the prime, prime that I have is not really run so deep. Every time that I see her, my heart does not leave. So peep into the mind and do some thoughts of excitement like a fine type of wine that is striving to ferment. Like a lovesick puppy, I still follow. Forgetting sorrow and looking forward to tomorrow. So tomorrow she's always tomorrow. giving me a funky mixed illusion. The image in my brain has been can try my conclusion. Soft and white like the grateful dove. Yeah. Nothing will penetrate my like everlasting love. Love, love, uh, love, love, everlasting uh, love, love. Now the problem that I have is I got to actually lose Every time I ask around, I know I'm about to lose So do, but I can't cause I want her all the time yeah. Some take years, but she's already in her prime In the, the lungs that I have is not really run so deep Every time that I see her, my heart does not leap So peep into the mind and do some thoughts of excitement Like a fine type of wine that is striving to ferment Like a lovesick puppy, I still follow Forgetting sorrow and looking forward to tomorrow so She's always giving me a funky mixed illusion The image in my brain has been to try my conclusion. Soft and white like the graceful duck. And I have to deep Not six this guy, Ashley. No, duh. I don't know. I wish someone would do something like that for me. Let me guess. Detention for a week. Try a month. Do you do nothing? I'm just gonna keep my distance. That's it? Eric tried to rape you. I just wanna forget about it. He should be punished, Nina. He's preaching to the choir, Chloe. Then why don't you do something? Because I don't want to, okay? You just feel so terrible. I don't wanna feel worse. Can I talk to you? I only did what I thought was right. You know you would have done the same thing, Chloe. No, I would have talked to you, not your mother. Well, you shut me out. You know what? Don't blame me for your mistakes. I'm not just going to sit back and watch you hurt yourself. Come on, I'm doing this because I care for you. You know what? I am not your problem to solve. Just leave me alone. Believe me, it is a problem, Chloe. suggesting a program of therapy and behavior modification. Behavior modification? What does that have to do with me? You've developed some very dangerous habits. Nothing I can't stop on my own. Chloe, let's at least hear what the doctor is suggesting. I haven't even been doing it that long. 
I'm listening. In addition to weekly counseling, you need to eat at least 2,000 calories a day, refrain from purging, and develop a routine of moderate exercise. No problem. I can do that. That's fine. I hope you can. But as a fallback, I'm recommending that you sign a contract with your mother. What kind of contract? If Chloe can't moderate her behavior on her own, you'll have her admitted to an eating disorder unit. What? Isn't that a bit drastic? This is a serious problem, Mrs. Walker. As you've pointed out, you're in the beginning stages. But this is a progressive disease. Which I'm dealing with. I know this is difficult. And what I'm suggesting seems severe. But left untreated, many bulimics don't get well. They die. Genes and charisma it comes totally naturally. Well, what about someone like me? I mean, isn't there something I can do <laughs> to be more like you? See, plastic surgeon? Joke! But seriously, Martha, if you're gonna get in the game, you need the fundamentals. I'm a very quick learner. Buy some fashion magazines, preferably from this decade, and commit them to memory. Coffee Jones, as scheduled. Gives us 10 minutes, 15 if he works with Mrs. Stang. Come on, let's Remember go. Remember we have to? Wow, what kind of attitude is that? Well, since we're talking minimum one-week detention, we owe it to ourselves to ask, what's in it for us? Yeah. Hey, you guys are invited to the wedding. Look, great love demands great gestures, great sacrifices. Now your great love gets you his junk board on your head. Yeah. Not anymore. This time, I take tips from the master. Whatever works for Zach will work for me. Okay, well, let's say you guys are in the wedding. <laughs> oh. Sorry. It's okay. What's wrong? Nothing. I just, I'm just jumpy. I didn't get enough sleep last night. Please. What? Who? Eric. I thought you were crazy about the guy. I was until I found out what he is. What happened? Nothing. Nina. I said nothing. Hear the rumor? What rumor? There's a new school for us in the valley. The transfer's back. No lie? End of the semester, the nightmare is over. It'll be like it was. You know, just because you live on this side of the hill doesn't mean you really belong here. So you and Goldilocks this morning looks like she wouldn't lose sleep over you transferring. She needs space, that's it. Starting real soon, that's just what she's gonna get. I've been thinking. I need a challenge. You'll help me? Why not? My takeover, I mean makeover skills, are a little rusty, but if I'm going to put myself out like this, you gotta do exactly what I tell you to. Anything. I'd move to a swamp if I could be like you. That won't be necessary. But if I got the perfect guy for you, Hey, Chloe. What the hell are you doing? Nothing. Look, just don't tell Mama, right? Didn't you go to the doctor with her this morning? Have I ever told her about your drinking? Look, I have all this under control, so just don't worry about it. Yeah. I see that. 